Hello, my name is Amber Hudson. I am the Education Director at First Makerspace and we're here to share with you the second video in our three or four part series on the Tower Garden. We are about six weeks in from the first planting of seeds that we did in the Tower Garden. And you can see that within six weeks we have an abundance of growth happening on our Tower Garden, which is very, very exciting. And in this particular video, we're gonna focus in on the maintenance portion of what takes place between planting those first seedlings and the harvest. So there's a lot of maintenance that happens each week, and we wanna outline that in today's video. There are two important documents that you'll wanna pay attention to within your tower garden curriculum. The first one is the indoor growing maintenance checklist. This really is gonna be helpful for educators who are using the tower garden within their classroom to help the students within your classroom take part in the maintenance and care of the tower. So we'll walk through what that entails here in just a few minutes. The second document that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is the maintenance log. This would be something that educators would post near their tower garden within their classroom. And as students are responsible for taking care of the five components that we're gonna mention here in a few minutes, they record that information on the maintenance log that helps communicate that information to the other students who are working with the tower and also to the teacher in the classroom. Maintenance is key. Weekly maintenance checks will help the tower stay beautiful and inviting to anyone who walks by. It's important for teachers to work with their students to keep the tower looking beautiful and well-maintained. The weekly maintenance checks will often only take about five to 10 minutes. A little bit goes a long way with the tower. The first step on the maintenance checklist is to check the water level and add water and nutrients if needed. Keep it simple. If the basin water level is not at least half full, add five gallons of water. We recommend using a milk jug to do this in a classroom. When water is added to the basin, you'll also want to add 50 milliliters of the tonic A and 50 milliliters of the tonic B solution. Whenever water is added to your indoor tower garden, you'll always also add tonic A and tonic B. The approximate ratio is about 10 milliliters of A and 10 milliliters of B for every gallon of water. Another recommendation for easily adding water is to move the tower garden to a custodian's office where they might have a dry mop sink. This makes it easy to add water and transport the tower garden back to its original location. The next step on the maintenance checklist is to check the pH level of your tower garden. Each tower garden comes with a pH test kit. You'll need those materials to do this step. First, you will obtain five milliliters of the water solution from the basin of the tower garden. You'll then add five drops of the pH indicator found in your sample test kit to the five milliliters of water. Your next step is to check the color of the solution to determine the pH. Your test kit will also come with a pH indicator color chart. By placing your water solution onto the color chart, you can easily match the color of your pH balance with the pH ratio. The pH of our tower garden fell right around eight, which required me to add six to seven capfuls of acid back into the basin. The Tower Garden curriculum comes with a pH, acid, and base solution recommendations for how much to add to your Tower Garden. You'll simply want to refer back to that chart every time you do a weekly maintenance check. Once you've added your acid or your base, it is not necessary to retest the pH in the same day. Instead, simply follow the directions of, to continue your maintenance check and then recheck the pH a week later. The next step of the maintenance checklist is to wipe down your tower. This is very important for just making sure the appearance of the tower looks pleasant to the eye and to ensure that custodians within your building are not responsible for picking up or doing this job um, as it should be the student's responsibility. You can use a wet paper towel or sponge to do this step. 
be sure to pay specific attention to the seams between the tower garden segments and around the basin lid. Because there are minerals added to the water, some of those minerals can begin to calcify and you would wanna make sure that that calcification does not build up in between those seams. This would make cleaning at a later time much more challenging as you work through the process. The next step of the maintenance checklist is to carefully check over each of the plants. You individually want to check each plant to make sure that there are no dead or dried leaves. Those can be removed from the plant to help the plant successfully grow. You also want to check the floor area for any of those dead or dried plant material and clean up that space. You can easily remove those dead leaves with a pair of scissors. The final step is you're checking all plants is to determine if any planting cubes with seedlings are not growing well and consider replanting those with new seeds. You can simply remove the net pot from the tower garden and pull out the plant that is dying. You'll wanna ensure that you wash out the net pot to get rid of any of the plant material or roots. To plant new seeds, you'll first want to saturate a new rock wool cube. At that point, once it's well saturated, you can add new seeds to it into the net pot. Ensure that the rock wool cube is pushed all the way down into the bottom of the net pot. Add the seeds of your choice to the rock wool and then sprinkle a small bit of the vermiculite over the top. Replace any dead or dying plants with new seeds and watch as your tower garden continues to produce fresh produce. Finally, you'll want to make sure that students that are helping with the maintenance checklist complete and fill out the maintenance log. This will help communicate information back and forth between members of the classroom. All information and notes can be added here that can easily be checked by each new maintenance checklist participant. If you have any questions regarding the tower garden, please visit our website at firstmakerspace.com.